welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well um happy easter to everybody watching this video i'm back i'm gonna start making more videos like i promised and i'm definitely gonna start branching out and doing different type of content but today y'all i have like a whole list of things that a lot of you guys have asked me and I'm going to make these into like a whole bunch of different videos all in one day. Just like I said, I'm going to start getting back on my six videos a day because I know y'all y'all be loving my videos. But I get this question a lot, like a lot, a lot. My bad, I burped. Um, and you guys are always asking me, Tay, why are you single? Why am I single as a mother sucking Pringle? Well, I'm going to tell you. So I really feel like a lot of people in this generation don't know how to think multiple perspectives. Y'all see women crying on these apps and being sad because they're alone and you think that other women feel the exact same way. I have suffered a lot of trauma in my lifetime and I'm sorry I'm ranting but I gotta tell you this. I've just suffered a lot of trauma in my lifetime so when I tell you my whole life has been super chaotic it's not even funny. I feel like I've always been in survival mode. So long story short as I've gotten older and I was in relationships most of my life, six-year relationships, three-year relate. You know what I mean? Like, I've always been in relationships. This is the first time in my life I've ever gotten to be alone. No voices, nobody telling me what to do, me being by myself, paying my own bills, living in my own home. And I am so happy and have a sense of security and a peace that you pr probably couldn't understand unless you lived on your own. Um, and with that being said, I feel like a lot of people don't get this. I... Um, want to be a therapist correct and I want to help people um, I just want to be able to help people with their mental health if people are suicidal and don't want to be here I would love to be that crutch that person for them um, because I feel like a lot of people in this generation say they care about mental health but either never have gone through it and don't know what they're talking about or like don't even really care so with me I cannot have a partner who doesn't understand what I do guys I didn't think this through and I have to tell you this because I didn't say this before um, as I started getting you know higher and higher in views and you know getting more access to different people things like that um, you gotta understand people look at my content and perceive me as a certain type of person um, and that's okay you know people are gonna judge me with the tattoos and a masculine whatever they don't know me that's fine but the thing that sucks about social media is it's gonna be hard to find a partner because one I'm in a a field where I work with mostly men I advocate for men I counsel men and women but I counsel mostly men so I'm gonna have to have a partner who's really headstrong and a partner who understands I get hit up all the time I get attention all throughout all the time so if that's gonna be a problem for you or if that's gonna be something you cannot handle then you should not deal with somebody like me and you gotta understand this y'all I get so many people throwing themselves at me a lot but I now have so much experience because of my past that I've dealt with being in relationships for so long, you know, seeing my grandma and grandpa's relationship now trying to counsel couples and counsel people. Um, so I'm just more educated in this field. So for me, I know what I want and I feel like my boundaries are not high and they're not crazy as hell. Like I don't expect six feet, all that six figure. I don't expect none of that. Um, but my expectations are, you know, just loyalty and I look for a grounded person like me and that has the same qualities I have. But as I come across certain men in my lifetime, a lot of them don't know how to communicate with women. A lot of them have been with only toxic women, so it's hard to um, communicate with them. And y'all, I've been having a lot of situations, not recently, but just before when I was trying to talk to people or, you know, you know, you know, mingle. A lot of the guys would talk to me a certain type of way or they didn't like my social media or, you know, it was just always something. So it just made me feel like, you know what, this isn't going to work. So I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I just want to stay single, be on my purpose, you know, get on my grind, be a millionaire and become the best that I can be. Um, so that, that way later in the future, I could just end up working from home all over again, chilling and taking care of my family. But like I said, y'all, right now in this moment, I'm not pushing for a relationship. I'm not dying for a relationship. Um, I could live without one right now. And I know for y'all, you're probably like, you're 28 years old. You should probably hurry up. But yeah, you guys can rush with your life. I want to take my time, you guys. And I want to make sure that the person that I'm with next is my person and the last person I get with. I'm a woman and I'm not trying to be with six, seven, eight dudes. I'd rather just this be my last relationship because I told you I've only been in three relationships. Had two boyfriends, one girlfriend. 
I'm not trying to be, oh my god, this is my eighth marriage. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be like the Kardashians, y'all. So I feel like if you take your time, figure out everything about yourself, and work on yourself. Because again, y'all, I still have self-work to do too. I am not over here riding perfect. People think because of the way that I talk on social media that I'm a know-it-all and I'm perfect. Hell nah. I am flawed just like you. I got a mouth on me just like you. I have a temper. I get upset. I get depressed. There's a lot of things about me y'all don't know. So please never assume like never assume just because you see somebody on social media Don't ever think that we're perfect because we're at least me shit I'm a gutter rat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but for reals, y'all, I'm really like, I be having my moods. I be having my attitude, my little sassy Latina mood. So I'm telling y'all, please don't ever think that. But for me, y'all, I would love a relationship in the future. I would love kids, but I just feel like I'm looking for a certain type of partner. And when I find somebody who wants the same things as me, I'll ride that shit out. Because gotta understand, a lot of men want to lead us, right? And I come from a traditional household where my grandpa knew where he wanted to go. He knew what direction he was trying to be in. And he led my grandma into success, health, and happiness. A lot of these men out here, no offense to y'all, love y'all. But you don't have jobs. You don't, you don't have your own place. You're not leading by example. And you want to lead us into what? You know, your depression's not in check. Your mental health's not in check. Your anger's not in check. Your finances aren't in check. But you want to lead a woman. You see what I'm saying? And that, that to me is a little bit scary. And another thing, if I talk to a man and he goes, oh, I don't know what I want. I'm just going with the flow. How are you trying to talk to somebody? You're not going, you cannot be a man going with the flow. You have to have discipline. You have to know where you're going. You have to have a sense of direction. You know what I mean? And like, at least for me, I want a man to say, you know what? I do want kids in the future. I do want marriage in the future. Just not at this exact moment because I'm not ready. That's a better answer than, you know what? Figuring it out. Fuck it. You know? YOLO, I don't like stuff like that. That makes me feel like you're unsure because you gotta understand I'm a grown woman now. I understand what I want. I got my own place, my own things. I am not gonna jeopardize my career, my sanity for somebody who's not going to uplift me and better me. You gotta understand this, y'all. You put yourself in a position to be fucked by somebody, you will get fucked, no Vaseline in the ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a bad example. Let me stop because I'm gonna get banned. But anyway, I'm being super serious, y'all. If you literally let somebody... <sighs> Just don't let people play with you. Please, y'all. Like, you got to have good boundaries. you got to take your time because if you get with the wrong partner, they will hinder your career. They will hinder you. Look at all these couples that end up breaking up and then the man gets all his money taken away, things like that. And I'm on social media, y'all. So this is my career. This is how I make my money. So imagine me going through a bad breakup. Now I'm depressed as shit. I don't want to make videos. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't get it. And then also, I counsel people. So if I have a partner who is yelling at me, screaming at me, toxic as hell, mean to me, whatever. I'm sensitive. Y'all might think I'm this tough old crazy monster, but I'm a sensitive ass little baby. So if my partner's mean to me and now I'm trying to counsel people and I can't even fucking focus, how is that good for me? You know what I mean? So like, sorry y'all, I'm looking for a partner who's just as goofy as me, someone who wants to travel the world. Um, but I want more of like an intimate relationship first like i want a connection so strong before the sex and all that stuff comes in but a lot of men they see me and they just want to jump my motherfucking bones and it's like sir like god man i gotta teach y'all sometimes y'all need to learn to tranquilo you know learn to treat a woman correctly and i also blame some women sometimes too i'm ranting now but some of y'all ladies open your legs so soon that it makes men think that a lot of women are like that and it's really annoying like Make these men work for it. I'm sorry. But yeah, y'all, this is the main reason why I'm single. It's just because a lot of people in this generation, they're just not serious enough, you know? I'm not saying everybody because I'm pretty sure there's some good guys out there, but I feel like true love will end up finding you when it happens.